Hey, welcome to Supercell. My name is Brice. I'm a 3D character designer on Clash Royale. I would like to show you what it takes to create a character for Clash Royale. When we feel good about new mechanics, we are doing a 2D art. So the 2D is a sketch. It's really quick to produce and it helps us to see visually who is the character, what they look like, where they come from. Is it a male? Is it a female? Is it alone? Is it multiple people in the same car? This art gives us a great idea of the character's personality. I take the 2D sketch and I'm gonna give life, I'm gonna give volume to this sketch in a 3D environment. That means I'm using different software to make it happen. The first part is the sculpt. The design sculpt is about creating the character in a 3D environment. It's an artistic part of the process. It's where the character comes alive for the first time. The color key is about giving beautiful color to my character and who's gonna make the character look way better. The retopology is about giving an animation-friendly polyflow to the character. It's gonna allow the character to move during the animation in the game or for marketing. After the retopology, the next stop is called the UV. The UV is a technical part which is not seen at the end by the audience, but we need it to do the texturing. The UV is about taking the 3D model and mapping it in a 2D space. After the UV, we can move on the texturing. It's about giving elemental details to the character. For example, check out this character's funky looking pants. I will be able to design the knit, apply a gradient, give color nuance or maybe a stain. It's a real artistic part and we're gonna have to make sure our character looks like a Clash Royale character. Once the texturing is complete, it's time to move on the shading. The shading is about giving the right feeling to all the material present on my character. My skin is gonna feel like skin. The fabric of my t-shirt is gonna feel like fabric. The gold of my weapon is gonna feel like gold. When the look development of the character is finished, it's time to put him in action. So we create some posing or animation, a light condition, and we do some renders. The render is almost like taking a photo of the character. Throughout the whole process, I have to make sure this new character is gonna fit the Clash universe. But creating a beautiful character is not enough. We also have to create his story and personality. Everything we talk about as creating the giant goblin. Si t'as aimé la vidéo, donne-nous un like et abonne-toi à notre chaîne. Salut maman!